So we're back here in Blue Pen Land. Hey, boys and girls. It's time to know how far uh, away something is. This is going to be the burning question of your like next few weeks in physics. Figuring out how far things go. Which one of these things that are listed below do you think would be how far? Would it be displacement? Would it be initial velocity? Would it be final velocity? Would it be acceleration or time? No, none of those things. It's going to be displacement because that's an X. You can tell by the units of meters, right? Now, this is a little bit tricky, okay, because uh, displacement really is the net change in position. That's the best way to describe it. Okay, so for example, we're going to do problems later on, not right now, where we have got the ground here. We shoot a baseball up in the air, and then it comes down and hits something like a building or something. Right? You hit it on the roof, right? In this case, if it goes up and then it comes all the way down there, the net change in displacement from the beginning to end is only that. And you'll okay. see some see it so sometimes it's not, as delta x. It's not. And it doesn't matter if it goes up and then comes down. It's just the before and the after. Right. The so in between don't matter. Right. So it's really not distance. It's really actually the net change in position. And then this guy is your initial velocity. And I will show you an example of how to figure that out. This is the final, what you end up doing. And then that's the acceleration. And then the problems only have one acceleration. They have those units. That's the easiest one to figure out. Okay, and then time is of course in seconds, right? Yeah. And don't forget, sometimes the meters per second it doesn't say it flat across like that. Meters per second slash second, it's meters per second squared. Could be that way too. Right? Which is what you're going to see from time to time. And then these are your formulas. These formulas. The trick here is that these guys have four of those five things in there. So that each one of these has something that they're missing, right? This is this one you're familiar with. This one actually has no x in it. Yeah. It's kind of like that thing okay. in Sesame Street, which one of right. the variables is not in the equation? Can you tell me by the end <laughs> of this song? So which one's missing out of the second one, boys and girls? Isn't it A? Yeah, there's no A in there. There's no that one a. has no A. No A. Right? And this one you can also, by the way, if you look at this, we'll talk about this more in class, but that one really, if you take the initial and final, and what you're doing is you're, you're dividing by two, right? That one really is the average velocity times time. So that's another way to write that formula. Yeah. X equals okay. average velocity times time. And then if you look, this one has no T in it. No T. And this one has no V final. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to, the, the next, you should watch the next two videos. We're going to do two examples of how you use these formulas to solve those. I can hardly wait. I Secret know. word for this video is the secret code word is Zulu. Zulu. Zulu.